Hi, I'm Yasmin Hussein, and this is your weekly motoring news. Aston Martin has announced upgrades for the 2015 versions of the Vanquish GT and Rapid S, resulting in improved performance and fuel economy for both models. There are subtle styling enhancements inside and out, while revised steering is said to deliver an even more crisp and precise response. A new ZF Touchtronic 8-speed automatic gearbox helps drop the Vanquish GT's 0-60 time from 4.1 to 3.6 seconds, while top speed is now over 200 miles per hour. Pricing for the new Astons has yet to be announced. In the latest crash tests carried out in the US by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, the Mazda 5 has placed rock bottom as the only 2014 model car to achieve anything less than an acceptable rating, while most earn a good score. The MPV also shares the unfortunate distinction of being one of the three worst performing cars the Institute has ever evaluated in the small overlap front impact test. Spokesman Joe Nolan explains. The occupant compartment basically collapsed. Uh, that resulted in high forces on the dummy's legs. We also saw that the steering column moved away from the driver's head. That resulted in the head sliding off the airbag and hitting the instrument panel directly. Catwalk model turned petrol head Jody Kidd has teamed up with car expert Quinton Wilson for a new TV show providing unprecedented access to iconic collectors' cars, personalities and glamorous events. The classic car show will see the duo hunt down some of the world's finest classic cars and take them for a spin whilst exploring the multi-billion dollar industry that has seen values rise faster than fine art, gold and real estate. The first of the 13 one-hour shows hits the small screen in January 2015. Jaguar is teaming up with pop star Emily Sande for the launch of its new XE saloon. Later this month, at a secret gig in London, the Multimobo Award winner will perform a new track, Feel XE, which she is writing especially for the unveiling. Jaguar says Acceleration is at the heart of its new mid-size premium sports saloon and is asking members of the public to provide Sande with inspiration for her song by tweeting or tagging whatever makes them feel exhilarated. If you'd like to join in, just use the hashtag FeelXE. Will I Am has teamed up with Lexus in a short film promoting its new NX. The hip hop star will feature in a TV commercial with the mid size premium SUV, as well as getting involved in the design of a limited edition version. The film uses visuals to bring to life Will I Am's track, Dreaming About the Future, and features animated graphics inspired by a shared passion for angular and striking design. The Lexus NX will arrive in the UK this October with prices starting at £29,495. Manchester United's Premier League stars took time out from their pre-season tour of the US for a spot of sightseeing. The top flight footballers cruised around Beverly Hills in gleaming new Camaros, Impalas and Corvette Stingrays, promoting Chevrolet's unveiling as the Red Devils' new shirt sponsor, despite the car maker having recently pulled out of the UK market. Nonetheless, Rooney & Co popped into a local fire station and signed a few autographs before jetting back home to prepare for the start of the season, which kicks off next week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out next week's edition for more motoring news.